It will be of a great value for a geotechnical engineer to know the magnitude of the maximum value of the stress that the soil has ever experienced, also known as the pre-consolidation stress. This helps him to determine whether the soil stratum in the feed would exhibit the traits of a normally consolidated soil or over-consolidated soil. Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the value of the pre-consolidation stress using one of the methods developed by the Casagrande. I have been given the results of the consolidation test on a sample of a clay soil. I have to plot the E log sigma prime curve. Using the Casagrande's method I have to find the pre-consolidation pressure and finally I have to calculate the value of the compression index swell index and the ratio of cs by cc the first thing which we will do is to plot this e log sigma prime curve in excel this is also known as the compression curve so let's plot the graph in the excel and thereafter we will find the pre-consolidation pressure now that we are in excel so we will plot the compression curve compression curve is a graph between the uh, pressure values and the void ratio values with pressure values on the horizontal uh, axis on logarithmic scale and void ratio values on the vertical axis on natural scale. You can see I have already written down the uh, pressure values in the first uh, column of the table and void ratio values in the second column of the table. To plot the graph, first we will select these values, then we will click on the insert, then go to the charts and select this uh, scatter with straight lines and markers. This will give us the chart. We have to make some modifications to this chart to get the compression curve. First, we will delete this series and chart title. Then we will add this axis titles. For horizontal axis, write pressure in kilopascal. And for vertical axis, write void ratio. Since the horizontal axis should be on the logarithmic scale, so double click on the horizontal axis and change the scale to logarithmic scale. Also make the tick marks visible for major type as cross and minor type as inside. To see the values uh, clearly, you can change the color that is from the gray to black and increase uh, the weight to one point. Now you can see the values clearly. Also for vertical axis, we will change the color to black for, from gray and increase the weight to one point. We can see for the vertical axis, there is no value of the void ratio, which is less than 0 0.6. So we will change the minimum units for vertical axis as 0 0.6. You can also change the color of the compression curve. So change color from orange to black. Also for the marker points, change the color to black. So this gives us our compression curve, which is the graph between the void ratio and the pressure value on the logarithmic scale. Now to get the pre-consolidation stress, we have to uh, select uh, by the judgment the point having the maximum curvature or minimum radius of curvature. So we can see from this graph that this point is having the maximum curvature. So at this point, we will draw a horizontal line. So draw at this point that is having the point having the maximum curvature a horizontal line. Also, we will draw tangent at this point. So draw a tangent at this point. Then we will bisect the angle between the horizontal and the tangent. So bisect the angle. After bisecting the angle, we will extend the straight line part of the curve to meet this bisector line. 
so this is the straight line part of the curve extend it back to meet the bisector line the point where it uh, bisects the uh, this bisector line from that point draw a vertical line so from this point i will draw a vertical line which will give me the value of the pre-consolidation pressure so this the abscissa of this point is the value of the pre-consolidation pressure this value lies between 100 kilopascal and 200 kilopascal it's more than uh, 150 kilopascal so it's approximately equal to 170 kilopascal so I can say that the value of the pre-consolidation stress for this soil is 170 kilopascal if I summarize the concepts of finding the pre-consolidation pressure from the compression curve first you will select the point having the maximum curvature from that point draw a horizontal line also draw a tangent at this point then bisect the angle between the horizontal and the tangent extend the initial straight line portion of the curve to meet this bisector line the point where this straight line portion of the curve uh, intersects this bisector line from that point draw a vertical line the point where this vertical line touches the horizontal axis will give you the value of the pre-consolidation pressure which in this case is 170 kilopascal after getting the value of pre-consolidation pressure as 170 kilopascal next we will find the compression and the swell index first uh, compression index is the slope of the linear portion of the virgin part of the pressure void ratio curve on a semi log plot with pressure on log scale it is given as cc is equal to e1 minus e2 divided by log of sigma 2 prime by sigma 1 prime where this e1 minus e2 is the change of void ratio for virgin part of compression curve and this log of sigma 2 prime by sigma 1 prime is the change of effective stress for virgin part of compression curve swell index or recompression index it is the slope of the linear portion of the recompression or swelling curve it is given as cs is equal to e1 minus e2 divided by log of sigma 2 prime by sigma 1 prime where this E1 minus E2 is the change of void ratio for the unloading reloading curve and this log of sigma 2 prime by sigma 1 prime is the change of effective stress for the unloading reloading curve so now we will find this uh, first compression index so compression index is also found out from the compression curve you have to find the slope of the virgin part of the compression curve so i will select these two points that is this point and this point and find their slope to get the value of the compression index so for the first point its void ratio is 0 0.755 and its pressure is 800 kilopascal for the second point its void ratio is 0 0.65 and this pressure is uh, 1600 kilopascal the compression index this is given as 0 0.755 minus 0 0.65 divided by log of 1600 by 800 which comes out to be 0 0.35 so you can say that the compression index for the soil is 0 0.35 after that we will find the swell index which is the slope of the uh, unloading reloading curve so again for this uh, curve i will select two points from the unloading reloading part of the curve which is this part so i will select this point and this point first point has a void ratio of 0 0.658 and its pressure is 800 kilopascal and the second point has a void ratio of 0 0.65 and its pressure is 1600 kilopascal the value of the swell index is equal to 0. 658 minus 0 0.65 divided by log of 1600 by 800 which comes out to be 0 0.026 so for this soil i can say that the compression index is 0 0.35 and the swell or recompression index is 0 0.026 if i find the ratio of the cs by cc this is equal to 0 0.026 by 0 0.0 35 which is equal to 0 
So this is how you can find the value of the pre-consolidation pressure, uh, compression index and swell index of a soil uh, from the compression curve. I tried my best to present this topic in a clear and simple language and I hope that you now fully understand that how to find these values for the soil. If you find my videos helpful, you can subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.